Hey beautiful people, it's Courtney. I'm back today with a brand new video where I review zero star slime shops on Etsy. So that basically means these shops have never been reviewed before, so I picked out some of my favorites to review for you guys. So before we get started today, please make sure to click that subscribe button. I post three times a week and I'm trying to reach 500,000 subscribers by the end of September. So let's jump into these packages. We're just getting straight into it today. This first package is from Moshi Squish and this package came with a really cute hand-drawn note and then it had the slime of course a little squishy and some borax there was no type of bubble wrap or anything either around the slime or in the package so luckily nothing broke and I will post all the prices in the upper right hand corner for you guys as well as the price per ounce so you could compare them if they're different sizes. So this slime was pink lemonade and it's a very thick slime and it's scented like pink lemonade. It smelled really nice and fruity and fresh just like pink lemonade of course but the slime was super super thick and it arrived in like perfect condition. I hardly had to activate this at all and it was just amazing the bubble pops and the clickiness of this was just amazing I would give this one a five star out of five stars I'll be reviewing all of these like what I would rate them on Etsy since they had no stars and of course I'll also link all of these down below for you in the description box if you want to check them out yourselves This next package is from Blush Rush Slimes and everything came packaged really, really nicely. So I was kind of bummed that the slime did crack on the bottom. These things do happen occasionally, but she definitely took all the methods to protect it. And it came with an extra activator spray, which I think is so sweet. And the instructions and everything were just adorable. But like I said, it did crack open on the bottom, but luckily I was able to salvage most of the slime and only a little bit came out. So this one was scented just like brownie it was probably one of the best like chocolate slash brownie scents I've ever smelled with the different types of slimes this one was just amazing it was like a thick java chip slime but the bubble pops were just incredible and I just really liked the texture this one was a eight ounce slime and I absolutely love this this was like my favorite slime out of all of them so I would give this package a five star but because it came broken I'm gonna give this one a 4.5 out of five but I think it was packaged really really cute and I love all the little details they added into their shop and the slime itself was just amazing I am really obsessed with it I definitely thought this was like the quality and the type of packaging you would expect with a famous slime shop and for the price I think this one was really really great so super comparable to a famous shop yet it had no reviews on Etsy so I'm super glad I decided to try this one also I forgot to mention that all the packages I find I purchased I tried to find like the cutest nicest looking slimes and people who really put in a lot of effort into their Etsy shop and didn't have any reviews I wanted to try to help them out and include them in this video. This next package came from BFF Slimes Inc. and I wasn't super impressed with the packaging at all on this one. I'm all about recycling and reusing, but when you're a business, this was just not professional at all. This was like a reused shipping envelope, which is even completely different from a box. I think boxes are totally fine to reuse if they're in great shape, but they just like sealed this back and just left some of their old sticker on it. And I just think it's not very professional when people are spending money on your product to do that. So definitely invest in some better packaging. Shipping envelopes are super, super cheap. And also it had some random rubber bands in it. I think it was supposed to go over this slime extra that they sent because it shipped late. So they sent an extra, which I thought was nice to include that. Although I do wish it shipped on time. And also they sent a liquid activator, which I also think is okay, but you just need to use like a better packaging. You can't really put it in like these cheap souffle cups. They will not hold liquids well at all 
especially in just a blank envelope mailing it. Especially being in the same bag as the candies and stuff, I had to throw all of this away. Luckily, it was in a contained bag, but this just wasn't a great way to ship it. So on to the slime itself, which is the most important part. So this slime was unscented, but it looks beautiful. It looked just like it did in the photo. However, this was a butter slime, and I don't really love the texture of this. It was really sticky, kind of like the Wish butter slimes that arrive like very clay based. Um, like as you could see, I couldn't really get all of the slime out of the container. It was just stuck on the edges and I kept scraping it and scraping it and it just would not come out. And as you could see, when I stretch it, it is very like stringy, which usually means that it has a little bit too much or a lot of actually too much clay in it. So this one was okay. I wasn't really impressed with the packaging and the slime was just all right. I do think the colors were were very very pretty it's just unfortunate it wasn't better quality so I would give this one two stars out of five it was probably one of my least favorites out of all of the packages I received Next, I have a package from Slimy Clouds Boutique, and this one came with a lot of really great extras, and the package was so, so affordable. So this came with some foam beads, a really cute thank you bag with some little extras and candy, and then borax and a business card. And I think all their packaging and logos was very nicely done. This whole package was only $5, so I think this one was a steal. It looked very well put together, and this is a great example of how you could do things on a budget and still make it look nice like this container was really nice these were actually very similar to the containers I used when I first started making slime so this slime itself I don't believe it was scented I couldn't pick up on any scents but it was a very thick and glossy just thick foam slime I guess it's more of a semi foam slime but it's I don't know this one had a very different texture this one and the last one I think they were slightly over activated um, to make it a little more thick so I don't know it just wasn't as stretchy as most slimes are so it was either used with glue all or I think they just might have used regular slime and over activated it some to make it a thicker texture but it was still a really really nice texture and it was great for like bubble pops and to play with so I would give this one four stars out of five Last, this package is from Slimy Pineapple Stuff, and this one was packaged okay. It didn't have any kind of protection, and it was just kind of like jammed into the packaging, but it did come with some candy. It didn't come with any extra borax or activator, but luckily it was completely activated, so I didn't need it. But just keep that in mind when you're ordering if you don't have any activator at home. Now, this slime was also very, very similar in texture to the previous one. It was another thick slime, and the bubble pops were incredible incredible on it but it seemed a little bit over activated like some of the foam beads would fall out and it was just on the stiffer side as you could see it falls very very slowly so I'm not sure if people over activate it to get a thicker consistency but there are definitely other ways to get thick slimes but I thought the texture was really nice and I think the bubble like the bubble pops were just incredible on this they were really really fun
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, you are part of my hashtag bubble pop squad. This is a hashtag I come up with at the end of every video. If you make it to the end, you can leave it in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.